I've been alone for as long as I can remember. The last of my kind as far as I know. The last of the great Jungu race. I remember spending my days in my family manor, Chateau Berfi, deep at the seafloor of the Gulf of Guinea. It was a great castle of shaped corals lined with underwater shells and pearls. The manor was rich with beautiful creatures and lavish fauna, an oasis of aquatic beauty. My parents must have been important, royal even, but I don't remember much about them or any of the other Myungu. I spent day after day alone, missing my family, singing to myself and the creatures around me the beautiful songs my mother taught me when I was young, and gazing up at the surface, wondering what lies in the world above. What is up there? I whispered to myself as I stared at the rippling surface and fantasized about the wonders that awaited me. One day, I could not bear the unknown any longer. I took a deep breath and I kicked hard to the surface. The excitement grew in me more and more as the sun shone brighter and brighter the closer I got to the surface. As I broke free from the surface and squinted upwards, the shine of the sun burned my eyes. The sun had always been a rippling thing shimmering above, giving dim light to my world below, but up here, it was massive and glowing. It burned my skin. I breathed air for the first time in my life. I gasped for a long time before it felt comfortable. When I finally regained my composure, I looked around to see a vast horizon of rippling waves all around me. I almost gave up and dove back home, but something caught my eye in the distance. What is that? A long green strip just barely visible in the horizon. I swam closer to the strip for what felt like forever. As I approached, the strip grew larger until it stretched from horizon to horizon. It was land, just like my home, but it was covered in splendid green plants and great brown stalks. I could hear sounds of animals, the likes of which I'd never heard before. Delicate chitterings and chirpings deep within the brush. I floated for a long time on the surface, just listening and smiling. Suddenly, a new sound caught my ear. A beautiful melody sung in a stunning soprano voice. Was it another Junku? It had been so long since I'd seen anyone like me. My excitement spiked. As I approached the shore, the green became a brilliant white as I saw sand for the first time. At the edge of the glistening beach was a young woman in a skirt made of rafi singing a small song as she mended a fishing net. I stared at the young woman for a very long time. This creature wasn't Jungu, but something very similar. Her skin was deep umber, and her hair was tied into a series of tiny braids wrapped in circles around her head, and she wore a beaded headband made of tiny flecks of gems and shells. She had a small smile as she sang, her white teeth shining. Instead of a powerful tail, the girl had a pair of long legs. I'd seen legs before on crabs and other crayfish, but nothing like this before. These legs weren't hard and chitinous, they were soft and smooth with small rippling muscles. I floated for a long time, just staring as the girl sang, entranced by the enchanting melodies. I didn't know any of the songs, but they were so beautiful. I wanted to sing along, but I didn't want to attract the attention of the girl. Finally, as the sky began to grow dark, the strange girl rose and began to walk into a cluster of plants, dragging one of her legs behind her, injured. I wanted so badly to help, but I was afraid to approach her. I watched her limp away with tears in my eyes. Once she left my sight, I returned to my underwater home. <laughs>